Hello, Moodlings. My name is Dr. Nicole Lunan, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Moodly, a new app that allows you to share over 400 and plus moods, emotions, and desires with your lover, thus making communication simple, fun, and super easy. Did you know that infidelity is the leading cause of premarital and marital breakups? Not only is it linked to breakups, but it's also associated with depression, domestic violence, anxiety. Infidelity has the ability to crack the very foundation that the relationship sits upon. It can cause you to question your reality, how you view the people around you. It can shake your confidence and your self-esteem and cause you to feel the lowest of lows, whether you're the cheater or the one who's been cheated on. And for the cheater, it can leave you questioning why or how you would do such a thing. How could you hurt the person that you deeply care about and leave you riddled with guilt and shame and have you questioning whether or not you're some kind of monster? And for those who cheat but don't get caught, you have to live with the heaviness of the lie and the betrayal on your heart for your entire relationship. As you look into the eyes of your partner, you may never be able to shake the feeling that you're living a lie. One would think with all the drama, pain, and angst that comes with infidelity, we would just avoid it, right? Unfortunately, that's not the case. According to research, infidelity occurs in approximately 20 to 25% of marriages, with men and women cheating at similar rates. The statistics are showing that infidelity is a common thing, more common than we'd like to admit. But why? Why do we as humans engage in one of the largest self-sabotaging techniques? Today, we will be going over a few reasons why people cheat, even the happy ones. We will be looking at a study that investigated approximately 500 heterosexual individuals about their relationships and their experiences with infidelity. So one large reason why people step out of the relationship is because they're not feeling the emotional connection anymore. Essentially, they've fallen out of love with their significant other. A whopping 77% of the 500 people who were tested on infidelity said that falling out of love was a major reason why they cheated. Reason number two, boredom and the need for variety. Some people are completely satisfied with being intimate with one person for the rest of their life. And there are some that are just not satisfied with that. Unfortunately, there are some people who want the comfort that the relationship has to offer, but can't quite get rid of the itch of wanting to play with other people. So they might try to stuff down their desire, but they find themselves bored after a while and the desperate need for a variety. 74% of the 500 people who were tested on infidelity stated that boredom and the need for variety were a large reason of why they cheated. This was seen more in men than in women. Reason number three, feeling unheard, ignored, and neglected. One reason why people cheat on their partners is they feel unheard and neglected and ignored. They aren't getting the attention they want out of the relationship or the energy. Their tank is empty and they want to fill it. If they ask their partner to make changes and there aren't any changes being made, they may resort to finding that energy and attention elsewhere. According to research, this is more common in women than in men. 70% of the participants in the study said that they felt neglected and that's why they stepped out of the relationship. Number four, low self-esteem. One reason why people cheat is because they have low self-esteem. They need other people to need them, to want them, to validate them. So if their partner isn't able to fill that self-esteem void for them, which nobody can really fill that void but the person who has a void, but anyways, they'll look for that in another person. They'll look for others to fill that void for them. This self-esteem void stems from unresolved childhood issues. Somewhere in their childhood, they picked up that they weren't good enough, thus leaving them looking for others to validate their worth. 57% of those who completed a study on infidelity said that they cheated because they wanted to boost their self-esteem. Reason number five, vengeance and anger. One reason why people cheat is because they're angry and they want revenge. Their partner has wronged them in the past and that resentment and pain is leading them to hurt their partner back. Approximately 43% of those who engaged in infidelity studies said that they cheated on their partner out of anger. Number six, not feeling committed. When commitment is shaky, people have been known to cheat. If a partner doesn't feel that strong loyalty to the relationship or they're questioning the relationship or whether they're actually together or not, that can open the door to cheating. Sometimes the status of a relationship can be unclear and shaky. For example, maybe a breakup happens, but the other partner didn't believe that they were actually broken up or there wasn't a clear indication that they were actually monogamous. Maybe one person believes they are monogamous because they've been spending a lot of time together and I love the user being said. However, what wasn't clearly talked about was the relationship expectations and boundaries around whether they're actually exclusive or not. Reason number seven, sexual desire. One reason why people cheat, men more than women, according to the study completed on 500 participants about infidelity, is because there was lack of sexual desire. 
people tend to cheat when their sex life has turned dull and there's not much fire there anymore. So let's talk about some reasons why people cheat that weren't included in the study. So reason number eight, poor environment and friendships. One reason why people cheat could be their friendships. For example, if one partner hangs out with a group of others where cheating is common and acceptable, that energy is contagious and it will place that partner in bad situations and environments that they normally wouldn't be in if they were around uh, people with different values. Reason number nine, sex addiction. One reason why people cheat could be due to their sex addiction. People who suffer from sex addiction will violate their own morals, their values, and risk the people they care about in order to achieve their fix. Like an addict who's addicted to drugs, the relationship with that specific substance has a strong grasp on their psyche and their choices. Sex is a mind-altering experience and it has the ability to alter hormones and essentially get us high. Their compulsion leads them towards cheating, even if they love the person that they're with. And lastly, number 10, drug and alcohol influence. One reason why people cheat is that they're under the influence. Alcohol is a mind-altering substance and it's really acceptable and even encouraged in society. When drunk or high off of substances, people can lose their moral compass and do things that they regret the next day. This isn't an excuse for cheating and some would question whether the desire to step out of the relationship was there before they were under the influence and the alcohol or substance just like lowered their inhibition to do so. All right, all right, that concludes our video lesson for today. If you like our videos, please make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and see you later, moodlings.